Welcome to Lost in Darkness, which is a game made by Zestos. I played a game by Zestos maybe a month or a few weeks ago. It was called The Haunted Journey Home, and it was pretty entertaining. And this one uh, just dropped today, so I'm very interested to see where this is going to go. Uh, it says in the description that this game is mostly inspired by the Fears to Fathom series, which I think most of us are familiar with. They're kind of like episodic horror narratives, and some of them are based on true events. I don't know if this one is, but um, you can see that uh, Zestos is mimicking kind of the style already with the splash screen here. And there are a couple of angry dudes with guns, or I don't know if they're angry, but they're just kind of standing there, right over there. And yeah, sorry the ends are chopped off here at ultra wide and it's kind of hard to get the, the resolutions right when streaming. But let me read the Twitch synopsis for you for this game. It says, you play a 27 year old man named Liam who works with his friends to search for a rare creature in the forest. He and his colleagues go to the forest and want to camp. But when Liam wakes up, he sees that the world around him has changed as his friends have disappeared and all that remains is whispers about their presence. And from here begins the story of Liam and the strange and terrifying things that will happen. Will you be able to survive? Well, I like how that was written. It's very ominous, especially with this music. And I like the, the grass here. The, the graphics uh, we can see are already uh, kind of a step up from our usual PSX style. So, I'm excited. Let us play Lost in Darkness. And on the top left, this is the third story. Is it? <laughs> I can't remember the other two. Maybe there are other ones. All right, so let's play. Ooh, Kane in chat. Hey, Kane, how's it going? Ominous black screen to star. Yes. Darkness surrounds me like a suffocating cloak. Its tendrils creeping into every corner of my mind. Fear, an unwelcome companion, grips my heart with icy fingers as I recount the events that led me here. It all began with a simple job, a task that uncovered the mysteries hidden within the depths of the forest. My companion and I ventured into the unknown. Seeking a truth that should have remained concealed, but as night fell, our weary bodies succumbed to the embrace of sleep. When I awoke, the world around me had shifted. My companions were gone, vanished without a trace, leaving behind only whispers of their presence. Determined to unravel the mystery, I embarked on a desperate search, my footsteps echoing through the silent forest. I, Liam, a 27-year-old, recount the events. Oh. Oh, not that sound. God, not that sound. Where is it? There it is. Oh, military time. Uh, four, 420? It's 420? Four, four Ooh. See what you did there. Oh, hey, Kane. Um, Kane in the chat. Uh, it's o It's Oki. How about you? <laughs> it's good. This, uh, new horror game just dropped here. Um, and I'm just checking it out. We'll see. That is four o'clock military, right? Six, five, four, minus ten, four twenty. So would that be four oh four twenty in the evening? Let me oh I'm gonna have to pull up this volume a little bit. There we go. It's more comfortable, I think. Hmm, can't read any of the books really. Uh, well, I have a nice enough room. Do I have a nice bathroom, though? Oh, this is a walk-in closet? I'm rich. I'm absolutely rich. Nice view. Nice. Oh, do I live in a circle like a cul-de-sac kind of a deal? Yes. It's very, very fancy in here. Oh, giant step up leaps and bounds beyond the regular PSX style of homes I usually frequent uh, no one's living here though as usual no one lives in these homes in these games 
Well, there's some laundry and some toothbrushes. There we go. There's some paraphernalia that's suggestive of people living here. It's always good to see. Uh, sell the house, buy a minivan. That's what Kane says. Yeah, that'd probably be a lot more fun, actually. Probably have a lot of extra money, and you could probably travel around to wherever you wanted to. Sounds like a pretty good life to me. Oh, I've seen this house before. This house has been in a number of games. And I'm not sure which ones. Um, I can't remember, but I've been here. Okay. Oh, Fruit Loops. Definitely upper class. Uh, there's a phone. There's chips. There's lul lulps. Not lays. Lulps. Yeah, Kane, you live a, a very nomadic life. No bills, just having fun, discovering stuff, traveling around. Okay, oh, okay. All right, Zestos, I see you. Looks like we, we own a four-door Ford Galaxy from the late 1960s. No, with, no, they could be Galaxy. It's either a Chevy or a Ford, but I'm gonna lean towards Ford since it's so giant. It's nice. <laughs> Hopefully I get to do some driving in this game. I could do without four doors, though. Oh, look at that sunset. Yeah, yep. Sorry, Kane. Yep, I am a little nerdy when it comes to it. Had a friend in high school who had a, a muscle car, so I became very educated in those ways. Oh, it's so nice. This is This game looks so great compared to the the normal PSX style games I'm used to playing. Alright. So there was nothing to trigger the car, right? Mm. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Nice flowers. Uh, oop, 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 oop. I don't want to get stuck on the furniture. I gotta stop sprinting. All right, so I think I realized what I need to do, and that is eat some pizza. I wish I could be doing that right now. Uh, microwave? Nope, I think it's chair, chair. Kane says, it's morning and I'm eating near the beach. Wow, where do you live that it's morning right now and you're eating at a beach? It must be somewhere tropical. Okay. Oh, this pizza looks pretty good. Mmm, that was good, I think. And I'm going to stand up. Right? Yes, yes, we're standing. Success. I guess we're just going to leave the Fruit Loops for later. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, Kane says, yeah, tropical place, but I live in the capital. Uh, just staying at the beach and going back in a, uh, in a half hour. Wow, nice. You're lucky, Kane. Um, do you mind if I ask where uh, you're at, kind of? What country? The other week I was kind of in... Um, not the other week, the other month I was in Cancun. It was very nice. Okay, now this awesome car. Let's have an awesome drive. Oh, yes, it's as nice as you might think. Uh, radio, check. Do I need to... Wait, 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 radio, be quiet. Maybe I need to... Ah, oh, ha, ha, yeah. Oh, Thailand? That's cool. Um, yeah, I work at a university and I tutor student athletes. We have a, f a few, um, a few people from Thailand. One of them's a tennis player. I think they're from Bangkok. Uh, okay, I guess we're just driving down the street. Which way am I going? I don't know. This way. Ah, okay. 
That feeling you get when you advance the narrative. <laughs> I hope I don't run into a goat king. <laughs> I hope I'm as lucky as you were with that. But yeah, I hope you have a great morning on the beach. That sounds absolutely incredible. 6.53 p.m. Uh. Oh my gosh. You always get to drive in Zestos' games, which I enjoy. Whoa! Alright, God. Let's go through a casual drive through the forest. I sh should stop my car, I think. Right? Oh, maybe I should. Hang on. Was there a turn? Let's go back and explore the turn first before we like, go off-roading. The last thing I want to do is break this game because it's brand new. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Mm, uh, where did that van turn from? There. Oh. This might not be good. Uh-oh. Okay, phew. This is where we're supposed to be. Alright, is it the sheriff? Henry Johnson. Uh, hello, Liam. Hi. This is your first day at this job. What job? First of all, we do not bear any responsibility if something happens to you. I don't know if they told you. There is a living organism that we do not know anything about. A rare living organism. And we are trying to search for it and catch it. We have one picture... Uh, but it is not that clear of this living creature. I will send it to you shortly. The work you will work may last for days, meaning you will sleep outside the, uh, the home for several days. Before you begin your work, two people with the same job will come with you to help each other find this organism. Okay. Be careful and take care of yourself. Okay. Oh, they're here. In a 90s Ford Bronco. They bought the, the Ford pack for these cars or something? With these tail lights, uh, it's definitely a Ford. Yo! Maybe I should talk to this. Oh, this guy, yeah. Oh, I had it. Henry Johnson? Hello, Liam. We will start our work now. We will go to the forest and start our work. Have you prepared yourself? Yes, let's get started. Have I prepared myself? Come on, get in the car. Oh boy, this is kind of cool. Let's get to sit in the back and drive. Don't be afraid if you see anything suspicious. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's say nothing. I'm not going to be confrontational. I want this to go well. Seven forty-three p.m. Oh man, what am I on? I am whacked out on something right now. Whatever I took is kicking in. What a bad time to take something like this, too, on a stormy night with a creature stalking the forest. I decide to take some kind of hallucinogen. Kane says, reminds me of one of those Japanese indie games. Yes, absolutely. I know what you're talking about. It's got that vibe. 
I think I'm going the right way. I do enjoy this camera effect. It's pretty well done. It's not too over the top, but it's definitely a little nauseous making. Uh, oh no! <laughs> what happened? I just met these guys. Keys! Oh fuck, what the fuck is that? Oh, woof. Oh, Jesus. Was that a bad dream? Did you wake up? I had a bad dream. <laughs> when will we when will we arrive? I'm just going to say I had a bad dream. I'm going to let them know. Uh, it seems that you are starting to feel afraid now. Yeah, you think? Uh, Kane says, I can't play any game that's 3D without getting nauseous. Oh boy. We'll stop here, guys. Yeah, Kane, don't try any VR games. They will... They will drive you crazy if you can't do regular 3D games. We'll camp here tonight. Liam brought the equipment, and let's prepare our tent. In the morning, we will complete our work. Eleven fifty seven PM Did I wake up in the middle of the night? Am I not supposed to be awake right now? I uh, oh sent you a photo. What photo? Where? Where's my phone? I don't see a phone. They're just asleep. Is there a way to like pull my phone out? Uh, Kane says, sleeping like this without a tent got to be a mosquito buffet. You're correct. This would be uh, a place where you get eaten alive in the middle of the night. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm trying some buttons here. I think one of them might pull my phone out. I'm afraid to hit the... Oh, there, the escape button did it. Uh, you'll be there at 7 o'clock. I'm on the way. 11.59. Oh, this is the picture of the living being that I told you about. That's great. It looks kind of alien-like. I hope that's not anywhere near me right now. Oh no. Oh no. Where'd they go? Where are they at? Okay, I'm up. I'm moving. Give me the flashlight. No. Give me the... Give me something. Keys. I have keys. Keys, keys, keys. <laughs> Kane says, Skinwalker. Looking, ah. You're correct. Yeah, I guess that would be more like a skinwalker. Um, I guess I'm going to drive away now? Let's just drive away. Let's just leave. Oh, what, who's out there? Who did I just see walking over there? Oh no. It's not gonna work, is it? I don't think so. We'll just keep trying for a second just to make sure. Nope! How do I get out? Like that. Well. This is really stupid, but I'm going to go follow him. Um, mainly to advance the narrative. But I would never do this in real life. This would be horribly stupid to do. Which way do I go? That way? Oh, no. 
I'm going to apologize in advance for how loud this is probably going to get as soon as I start attracting that alien thing, that skinwalker. It's because it's hard to gauge the volume on these games sometimes. You can't tell how loud a jump scare is going to be. Two thirty-four p.m. I'm just gonna keep going in this direction since it's pointing me in this direction. I'm about to disconnect the moment I hit the road. That's what Kane says. Well, thanks for stopping by, Kane. Uh, hopefully you have a really great day out there in Thailand. I'm so jealous of the wonderful weather I'm sure you're experiencing. And yeah, stop by any time. Uh, if you're into kind of indie scary games like this, little ones. I do them all the time and I have a YouTube as well. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you dropping by. What am I doing out here? I feel like I should be going... Should I be going by the highway right now? Let me get down here and hit escape and see if something happens. Yeah, there we go. Let's make a call. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Well, that doesn't help. Can we hit a, can we make another call? I'm gonna keep walking along the road because I don't think there's anything in the middle. Oh, oh, that's my bad. Or no, no, it, okay, it's going. 647. Ooh. Houses in the middle of nowhere that have no roads going to them. This is a great idea. Never do that. Never approach homes with no roads to them in the middle of the woods. That's not what you should do. Not as a logical human being. Oh my god, it's loud. Hello? Liam, who are you? Who are you? I'm Henry Johnson. Where are you, man? I don't know. I think I'm lost. Why did you leave without your colleagues? I woke up today and they disappeared. What do you mean they disappeared? I don't know. I was suddenly woke up and there was no one out there. Liam. They haven't come out yet. They were waiting for you. What do you mean? When you came to me yesterday and I told you that they would come, you went and did not go out with them. Huh. So I went by myself. With them. Wait. So is this like skinwalker stuff have I been like tricked into coming out here by myself somehow they basically haven't come out yet what do you mean they've disappeared I went with them and we camped in the forest yesterday uh oh uh oh this is bad this is very bad I want to stay outside I don't want to go inside what's this it's all chained up. Oh, it's about to get loud, I think. I apologize. Oh. Maybe I'm not supposed to go in there yet. Okay, a meth lab, Winnebago. Oh. Enter. Let's enter. What? What? What the fuck? What? 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 Oh, there's someone coming. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What do I do? Uh. Is there, like, a place to go? What? What? what oh no! <laughs> what? Yes! Oh, ah. Uh. Oh. That was scarier than it should have been.
Start the van. Oh, now I can start the van. That's what I'm clicking. Start the van. Oh, keys. Phew. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Holy shit. Go. Drive out of here. I don't know what's wrong with this place. It's fine. Everything's fine. Stole an RV, but it's fine. So I went to find this creature. I couldn't find them. I was supposed to be camping with somebody, but I didn't go camping with them. I went into the woods alone. Now I found a Winnebago and there's a large man chasing me. Oh boy, what a day. What a day. Just keep driving. I'm just gonna keep driving. Unless there's an exit button I'm supposed to hit. Nope. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get out of here. No. <laughs> No, 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 guys with guns, guys with guns, fuck, hide, 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 I hit, I'm hiding, open the door, no, I don't think I will, open the door, I will kill you, I am calling the police, oh no, oh no, Please don't find me. Please don't find me. Please don't find me. Please don't find me. Am I supposed to do something? Am I? Oh. I'm trying to do stuff. Hang on. Oh, maybe I had to hit space bar. Oh boy. This is fun music. Oh, hello, officer. What's up? Where, where are those ruffians with the guns that stopped me? No, I didn't steal this Winnebago at all. Don't worry, everything is fine. We caught them. Yeah? Fortunately, you survived. They were carrying weapons. I saw. Are you Liam? Yes. Have you been reported missing? I don't know. I got lost in the woods and a lot of things happen. I just want to go home. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. Don't worry. Really? Should I not worry or should I absolutely worry? 1.23 AM. They just dropped me off at home? Bye! What about my sweet car? Oh my gosh. What a day. Hey. There's another car coming. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Don't hit me. I like this music. I hope it's not copyrighted. Liam! Thank God you are fine. What happened to you, man? You suddenly disappeared and uh, are not answering calls. A lot of trouble got me. A lot. The most important thing is that you are fine. Come on, ride with me. We'll go to your car. Oh, good. I missed my car. Loud.
Wow, look at all those credits. Oh my gosh. Alright, well that was Lost in Darkness by Zestos. Uh, that game was just released today. Um, and you can clearly see the Fears to Fathom influence because it was definitely more like based on real stuff. Um, well, there's a weird alien thing in there, but still, it felt like the mo the most threatening thing was the people that you were hanging out with most of the time. And that's definitely kind of a thing that happens in Fears to Fathom. It's more like threats from actual existing people than, say, you know, mysterious aliens or skinwalkers or something like that. But I did like the little alien touch in there. Um, I thought it would have been cool if you would have ran into that alien thing when you were wandering out in the woods. Um, part of me is, like, a little confused about the guys with the guns. I assume that they're like in on it or something there's some weird thing going on with that creature in that in this area maybe they're like hunting it or maybe they're like trying to like keep people out or like away from it or are they the military or something or what's up with them i wasn't sure what was up um with the whole uh alien skinwalker thing but that part interested me a lot um, I like the little twist where you go out there with those guys, but then they call you and say that you didn't go out there with anybody. That was pretty cool. That's definitely um, scary in itself. Uh, so, so far, like the the uh, story and everything like that was pretty interesting. I think I'd like to see some more on the alien skinwalker thing. Uh and just maybe connect those dots a little bit more with like the people and like why there's there's guns and everything like that. And then also, I think there were some parts where you need some better indicators on like where to go, but I think most PSX games kind of have that issue sometimes. It's kind of hard to know where to go sometimes. So I think once I got teleported out into the field and everything, I probably cut it out of my actual finalized video here but uh, yeah I wandered in both directions the wrong way because I don't think I got the indicator for like using my phone I don't think I was looking down or maybe just in display my monitor but yeah that kind of stuff just make sure that's um, displaying correctly I think other than that it was pretty interesting because um, I have more questions about what was actually going on which is kind of like the fears, fears to fathom games too like a lot of them are based on these uh, kind of ridiculous stories or, you know, stories that happen in these people. They're just like stranded in the middle of nowhere or, you know, there's something weird going on and you don't know the full story really until the end. Or sometimes you don't know the whole story at all. There's just people that are acting weird and you're alone and you run into these people and that's the scary part. So um, I remember when... Uh, the guy was running up to the RV trying to get in and then I thought that was scary for some reason because I didn't know who this guy was but I was trapped in this RV and I didn't know what to do uh, thankfully I realized you have to start it and everything like that but that definitely scared me for some reason it was just freaky to see some guy running at me and then the guys with guns they were pretty scary but by that point I kind of knew what I had to do I just had to run into the back of the RV and, and hide so yeah uh, great job on this so far, Zestos. I think there's a few bugs you need to work out, but I did kind of like the narrative style. I think you just need to um, give more indicators on which directions to go and stuff like that. And then fill in a little bit more of the story with the uh, creature that you're working with. Because I think I would have loved to see that creature like kill one of the gunmen or like kill somebody in the woods or just even see it a couple times in the woods when I was wandering around by myself that would have made it super scary <laughs> um, and then also you could have played on that because the mystery creature I guess you've already hinted that the protagonist might be hallucinating or things aren't as they seem because they went out into the woods by themselves right but they thought they were going with people so maybe this creature thing and the whole thing is like in their head right maybe that is what you're doing I don't know um, so maybe I don't know maybe they could be stalking the creature or you can be trying to find the creature or the creatures killing people 
or you go out and try to kill the creature and you end up killing somebody, you know, somebody uh, like a person or something like that. Maybe the whole thing's a hallucination, like in your head. Um, so I think, I mean, I feel like this was sitting in that area anyway. Like, I think those things were going on. But just more, put put a little bit more of the creature in, I think. Other than that, it was pretty cool. It was very thought, thought-provoking. And it felt, um, and I felt very alone <laughs> during the game. Especially when I wasn't sure where to go. I was like, what's happening? Where am I? Um, where are these people? So it had a good sense. It had a good atmosphere about it. That was very, um, uh, like an isolated feeling. So, yeah. Thanks for hitting me up for this one, Zestos. And, yeah. Uh, let me know if you make anything else. I'd be happy to play it. So thanks so much. Um, and as usual, if you got to the end of this video or you jumped in on my Twitch, uh, thanks for getting this far. It really means a lot to me. And it's helping my little channel kind of grow a little bit which is a lot of fun to see but anyway um have a wonderful night and yeah i'll try to dig up some more scary games and get to play in those uh, uh i aim to have one out usually every day but we'll see i may be busy during this weekend try to get one out every other day or something like that um but yeah thanks so much for stopping by have a wonderful night see ya bye bye